The U.S. women's national team made a mockery of themselves as their World Cup hopes ended in pathetic, catastrophic failure. The team that's been more well-known for their social justice activism and disrespecting their own country over the past few years than they have for their play on the field lost in penalty kicks to Sweden in the round of 16. The worst World Cup performance for the United States women in history. And the entire team's getting blasted, but one person specifically is getting crushed right now by Americans. And that is Megan Rapino. Ridiculously easy to hate her. Fans react to Megan Rapino's bizarre post match interview after U.S. women's national team loss in Women's World Cup. And of course, this is the interview where, when asked what she's most proud of, she said equal pay because she can't stop virtue signaling even for a second. But here was Megan Rapino's last moments as a soccer player, as part of the national team. This is it an opportunity, a big opportunity to be clutch and come through for her team and for her country. This is the result. Rapino, right puts it over the bar. Air mailed it. Not even close. With a smile on her face as she sits there with her failure. Well, now ESPN's trying to spin everything. ESPN, who's been defending and pushing Megan Rapino for forever, all of her woke activism, all of her bullshit, her kneeling for the national anthem. Now they have the gall, after all of this, to try to run propaganda pieces for her to support her. Clay Travis right here. Megan Rapino airmailed her penalty kick, and the U.S. women's soccer team had their worst World Cup performance ever. Here's how ESPN covered Rapino and the U.S. women's choke job. This isn't sports. It's left-wing propaganda. And I actually have this entire piece up here that I want you guys to listen to some of it. Uh, unapologetically Rapino. This is narrated by her fucking wife, Sue Bird, who's also a massive activist who used to play in the W. WNBA. Listen to this. They are making the claim that everything she's done, it's because of her incredible patriotism. She just loves this country so much that she despises it, apparently. Her patriotism is what has driven her to lend her voice to those who need it. When she started kneeling to protest racial inequality in the United States, she did it because she loved America and believed it could be a better version of itself. There's no level of status that will protect you from the clutches of inequality. Which I disrespected my country. I disrespected my flag. I disrespected the anthem because I just love this country so much. Regardless of all the black players that are surrounding me, uh, they weren't kneeling for the national anthem, at least initially, until she convinced the entire team that they had to do this. They had to take a stand against racism and bigotry by disrespecting their country. She accepted her award as FIFA's best player of 2019. She used her speech to call on everyone to join the fight in stamping racism out of soccer. When she fought for equal pay, which included suing her own bosses at the Federation and risking her spot on the national team, she didn't do it for herself. She did it for the young girls who have yet to represent the U.S. The and then, of course, well, I, I did it for the young girls in the United States because I love my country so much. And then she advocated that biological men come and play in her sport. So that is just bullshit. The fact that this is ESPN's spin job, they should be crushing her. They should be criticizing her for everything she's done, the damage she's done to the reputation of the women's national team, and her failures throughout this entire World Cup, including a moment that could have been so big that could have really almost sealed it for the United States, as she had a pathetic penalty kick attempt sail feet over the goal. This is what ESPN airs because this is who ESPN is. It's not about sports. It's about propaganda. It's not about honesty. It's about propaganda. It's about left-wing activism, just like Megan Rapinoe. No wonder they love Megan Rapinoe so much. So now ESPN is getting crushed for airing this instead of actually holding Megan Rapinoe accountable and taking her to task. It is ridiculously easy to hate her because she's someone who's proven time and time again that even though she represents this country, she hates this country and so many people in it. It's pathetic. And everyone, except for the woke media, is blasting her right now. Let me know your thoughts about all this in the comment section below. Smash a like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, share this video out there, and I'll talk to you later.